Hey everybody, welcome to another quick save review with me, RC. Today, we're going to be checking out Cyber Shadow. This game is on every platform, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, slash Series X, Switch, and on PC on Steam. Uh, we are actually playing the Series X or Xbox One version because this was just put out on Game Pass, so I'm actually playing this uh, quote-unquote for free. And uh, so far, guys, I have played through the first two levels of it, and I'm really, really enjoying it. This is actually uh, published by Yacht Club Games, the, the guys who brought us Shovel Knight all those years ago. Uh, so this game was not actually developed by them. This is developed by a, uh, another studio, uh, but this was published by them. And you could definitely tell their influence is all over this game. Uh, this game definitely feels like uh, if you took uh, Ninja Gaiden and combined it with Shovel Knight. It definitely feels that way. And it is really fun. It's really cool. Uh, we're actually starting out into uh, Chapter 3 here. And we are trying to get by this these annoying little robot guys here as we scale vertically and try to avoid all the smoke, green, green toxic smoke that's coming out here. Uh, but you can see it's got like a great, you know, little like 16, 8 bit, 16 bit, 18, blah, I can't speak, sorry. 16 bit and 8 bit combination thing going on here. Um, those of you who have recently played another game called The Messenger, uh, this may give you, like, sort of, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, like, flashbacks <laughs> to playing that game. This feels a little bit more Ninja Gaiden, I think, in, in its look and everything like that. Uh, especially with the way he uses his sword here, the way it, you know, swipes through the air like that. Uh, but man, uh, it, it, you know, it, it's, it's still got all that, that feel to it, though, which I think is really, really cool. Uh... We got these weird falling bricks here we got to watch out for. I would also say that while this game is challenging, it is definitely not as challenging as any Ninja Gaiden I've ever played. Ninja Gaiden is just a tough series all around, right? It always has been. It's sort of like its claim to fame, even when they came out with the uh, 3D remake versions of the game. Oh my god, these guys are... Wow! These guys are really annoying. Okay. So there's some of the di the difficulty there. So the enemies are going to drop a few different things. Uh, the little gold orbs that you see there, that is actually money uh, that you can use to spruce your guy up when he's not feeling too good. Uh, the blue gems are actually used for your abilities. So for example, we can hit up and attack and he'll throw a shuriken. And you can... Oh, jeez, and we fell. Let's try not to fall. I'm trying to pay attention here with the platforming. There we go. Or you can hit down and attack, and he'll do that. Uh, I haven't been able to use that because I've just unlocked it. Uh, but if you go to the options, you can see what that's what these are. We got the Shuriken, we got the Rising Fire. That's all I've unlocked so far. I've also unlocked, uh, I've collected uh, three of these little orange orbs that you see on the right there to give me just a little bit more HP, uh, which is, I think, going to be super helpful as the game goes on. All right, let's see if we can actually get through this this part here. I do like though that I was chatting about how this game is it's not as hard as Ninja Gaiden, but <laughs> you guys saw me die like immediately. Um, this game uh, is fair though, which which is basically the point I was trying to make. Because Ninja Gaiden, I, I definitely remember playing that and feeling like there were parts of that that were just not very fair. Oh, jeez. I don't know what is going on in this area here, but I don't like it. Alright, we gotta go down. Okay, I gotta kill that thing. Come on. There we go. Got these little bugs coming out after me too. Oh, come on! The green stuff hit me there. There we go, we hit a save point. So, anytime you die, you're gonna come back to the save point. You have unlimited lives and all that, uh, which is kinda nice. Um, but this is where you can spend your money here. So we could spend 50 and get the Swag Blade. The Swag Blade is a more powerful blade, which we'll grab right here so you guys can check it out. You grab it, but... Oh, actually, no, this is different. This is a different, uh, weapon that I haven't gotten before yet. That's cool. I dig that. So the, uh, there was another, another blade that I've gotten before that tur actually turns your sword blue. And uh, is more powerful. 
There we go. Help us take that guy out. Uh, with any power-up you get, though, for your weapons, uh, what ends up happening is... Oh, man. I hate when you're playing and you get an itch on your face where you're just like, I'm trying to play here, guys. I don't want to die. Uh, when I get hit three times, I will lose that power-up, though, so keep that in mind. There we go. And we're going to grab a collectible. So this collectible, once I collect two more of these, I get more HP. That's how I got the HP originally. And we got some kind of sense here. My training isn't even complete yet. Here I lie broken. Will my essence travel home to the ethos or dissipate into nothingness? I'm out of supply, so I'll find out soon enough. So there is a little bit of story back, you know, uh, in, in background to everything that's happening in the game, which is pretty cool. They went out of their way to add a story, which, you know, not all NES games had a great one. So I'm glad that they went out of their way to kind of add something in, which is cool. Um, one of my only uh, real critiques of this game, though, is I'm not sure that I'm the biggest fan of the way the attacks work, where uh, you hit uh, up an attack or down an attack to use, like, the Rising Fire or the Shurukens. Um, I think I think it's a bit annoying because I'll find myself hitting uh, up or down to do a thing, you know, quite often. And so I'll accidentally throw shurikens or whatever else, you know, and it's that that becomes a, a bit annoying, I would say. Um, other than that, I don't really have much in the way of critiques for this game. I was hoping it hit one of those guys there. No such luck. Try to take this thing out. There you go. Thanks for helping me out. Watching out for these green globs here coming down. At least you could use your sword on them. I didn't realize that until just now. It's gonna fall apart. Uh, they did, a, uh, I feel, a really, really good job of making, to, to me, what looks like an old-school NES game, uh, but still, like, have a little bit of a contemporary look to it. Obviously, you know, I, I think that the, the colors used and, and that kind of thing, uh, you know, are a little past what NES could do back in the day, back when I was a kid playing it. Um, but I think it's still very, very fair to, you know, uh, to that style, I guess you could say. There's a lot of, you know, old school style pixelized games that come out nowadays that try to do the style and they can somewhat do it, but it's not not always quite there. Okay, take that guy out there. Uh, but the aesthetic in this game, I feel like really, really nails it. Like I, I've seen it good in games before, but this is this is like <laughs> this is like really good. Okay, I'm trying to get that thing to hit. There we go. Gotta bring down a platform so I can grab this. Hey, look at that. So this is the replacement weapon here. Uh, and I, oh, or rather, I, I guess I replaced my weapon here is what I meant to say here. So here's that blue blade I was talking about. I almost feel like I would have rather kept what I was using because I feel like I was doing pretty good with that. Oh! oh, luckily we weren't too far away. But, we did lose our cool blade, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to this one because I think that this thing is pretty useful. So, I know at the beginning I said that this game is kind of like Shovel Knight in a way. And by that, I, I don't mean the gameplay at all. I mean in the way that they set up the secrets in the game. Um, the secrets in the game are very very Shovel Knight. Like, uh, that is to say, every now and then you will see... I'm glad we gra grabbed that anyway, because we were about to lose our other weapon. Um, you will see secret areas that, that you can get to, uh, and they're very Shovel Knight. They, like, like, you know, broken, broken walls and that kind of thing. When I first saw a couple of those in the first few levels of the game, I was like, wow, this is... <laughs> this is definitely Yacht Club, like, involved with this, you can tell. Because uh, Shovel Knight had a lot of cool secrets in it, but some of the secrets were very obvious, you know? Um, and that's okay, because it, 
it's one of those things I've always believed in games where, like, if you're going to put secret areas in your games, it's always good to have a few easy ones to find for, for players, because it entices them to keep looking. Uh, if you make all of them too hard to find, then the players are going to be like, alright, what am I what am I doing here? How am I going to find these? Oh, what is this guy? Oh my god! Alright, so you guys can see the difficulty uh, ramping up here a bit. You don't want to get hit in uh, stupid areas of the level, because you will come back and regret it. Even with the advanced uh, HP that I got, I, it's still still challenging. All right, we gotta whip that. There we go. I guess the real question there is like, if I die again, do I really want to replace it with this blade? Oh, stupid! Forgot that thing was gonna come up. Stupid again. I keep forgetting these things are gonna hit me the way they're doing it. And guys, you'll have to forgive me. I played a couple levels of this last night. There, I lost my blade. And uh, I'm coming back to this playing Chapter 3 to record this uh, after a long day. Actually, a long day of work with uh, overtime and everything. God, I'm down to three hits already. I am not doing good in this area here. Not always the best idea to come back to a difficult game after... <laughs> A long day of work. This is where this is like uh, where, where my my uh, Animal Crossing nights come in. Where I'm like, I think I'm just gonna play Animal Crossing tonight. You know? <laughs> hey, we got a shortcut. That's nice. So I think now we can actually jump down to. Yep, there's our save point. Check that out. So what's nice is if you hit a save point, um, you actually get all your HP back. Uh, but for those of you who are looking for more of a challenge from the game, I believe there is a hard mode. So if you're looking for the game to have that NES toughness to it, you can go through and add that in. Uh, I don't think that that is a, a problem. Uh, one of the other things I want to point out with this game, too, is that I really, really enjoy the music. I think they did an excellent job with the music. Uh, let's see here. Their leader, their leader controls a weapon high in the clouds. Anywhere under the open sky is unsafe. I miss. I must stay hidden indoors. Um, another thing, too, that I haven't been able to really get into with this game uh, just yet because I haven't unlocked all the abilities is that um, the levels, uh, several of them... Throwing a box at me? Come on, dude. What is that all about? Um, you'll be able to return to past levels. Okay, this is where that weapon is really going to come in handy, I guess. Anyway, to finish that thought, you'll be able to return to past levels and find things that you couldn't find before with new abilities. Uh, so the game, I, I don't know that I'd call it a Metroidvania, because you don't need any of those things to finish the game. They're just like kind of, they seem to be just kind of fun things you can do and find later. Oh, you can actually hit this thing. I didn't realize that. Oh, that changes a lot of things, doesn't it? There we go. What do we get? Attention, all civilizations, or civilians, rather. This is an automated transmission. The city and surrounding islands have been secured with a safety perimeter. Please evacuate by it. Okay. So just a little note, a little environmental storytelling for you, right there. I am uh, kind of desperately looking for secrets in this game, or uh, rather this level, and I am not finding anything, really. See right there, I accidentally used the little little flame thing, which is not what I meant to do. This guy is getting way more hits on me than I want. Okay, didn't see that. Okay, I didn't see that either. Wow. We're gonna go ahead and try that part again. Luckily we have that shortcut here. So, like I said, Challenging, but not ridiculously challenging. I have uh, definitely been in the situation where I played a few parts over and over again, uh, but not to the point of being frustrated. Like, I think the most that I've had to play parts over again were maybe three, three times, something like that. And you can see I, I'm getting through this all right. I'm not doing too bad. 
trying to not even get close to that guy. There we go. Alright, so each little platform... Oh! I thought I was gonna die right there. thought that was instant death. Okay, I got. I just got a twofer on that one. I got hit twice. Ugh. Those, oh my god! I'm gonna die again, guys. Good lord! I am just. It is not working out for me here. The enemies and stuff do drop health and everything here too, so keep that in mind. But it seems as though it's like kind of few and far between sometimes. Like sometimes you're gonna get health, other times you're not. Okay, so they wanted to hit me here. Oh, jeez, that was close. Get out of here. They're placing them, like, right by where the enemies are. Okay, we got a save point. So I don't feel as bad there. All right. Let's break these open. Let's get our swag blade back, because that thing has been pretty useful so far. There we go. Break that thing open and grab some more coinage. I don't know what that blue thing is. Oh, looks like we got a tank. Oh, that's scary. Hey, you can hurt him. Oh my god, okay, so if you fall in the fire, guys, it is instant death. Please keep that in mind. Oh boy. Okay, we took out those turrets already. Okay, we seem to be doing all right here for now. Watch out for the missiles. Okay. Oh no, I was like, is that everything? No, we got this thing now. We got it now. It's done. And they're like, all right, anyway, back to our regularly scheduled game. <laughs> oh, wow, that thing can catch the fireballs and throw them back at you. All right, we gotta watch this. Ugh. Kill that thing. Oh, this part is... Oh, my God. That part is busy. I gotta kill the boss again, right? No, I don't. So this is actually one of the nice things in the game. I actually forgot to collect that. Um, one of the nice things in the game, actually, is that they, when you destroy a boss, he stays destroyed. So you don't have to worry about, like, getting to a save point and then having to redo that part all over again. Which I am thankful about because, man, I feel like sometimes I get a, a real... I get a, a real uh, lucky stroke, you know, against a boss. And uh, I'm like, man, <laughs> I don't know if I can pull that off again. I am not having a lucky stroke here, though, I'll tell you that. They're leaving me lots of gold here, but, like, no, no health. There we go, there's some health. My friends are captive, neither alive nor dead, in the void between here and the ethos. I must keep running for I'll share their fate. <gasps> what is this? Actually got a cutscene. Pretty cool. Beam, beam, beam. Look at this. Look at this badass ninja dude with a gun. Ninja robot dude with a gun. Still have not found any. Uh... Still haven't found any areas here. Like secret areas. Oh my god. So stupid. Just trying to avoid that thing. That's it. That's all I'm trying to do. Hey, okay. Thanks for destroying that for me, though. That is helpful. Hmm. I'm having any luck with secrets. I have any any luck surviving either. Good lord. I am doing terrible. Doing absolutely terrible. Mm. 
will make it through, though. We will persevere. Oh! Oh, crap! I'm gonna jump down. Is that cool? <laughs> There's too much going on. I wonder if this will trigger that scene again. I'm paralyzed. Please, someone kill me. If I can cross over to the east, I can continue my mission. Some kind of ghost ninja? I like the idea of that. Ghost ninja sounds pretty cool. Oh my god, I'm. they're getting so many cheap hits on me here. I'm down to three health again already. Oh, screw off with this. I don't even know what that bouncing thing is. What is that? Ugh. Well, we got some health back, I guess. Oh, come on! Hey, look at this guy coming over to try to ruin my day, too. How come you get to have all the boxes? I'm trying to break them open and get health back, dude. Okay, this should be a secret. What'd I tell you? Oh, God. Oh! Okay, so that is locked. Okay, great. <sighs> Had no idea that that was locked up. I'm trying to get you guys here to the... Uh, final boss of this level so you can actually actually see a whole level through but we are man, already 20 minutes in that's the one thing uh, the other thing with this is that it doesn't feel very I guess like once I get better at the game I guess I should say if I get better at the game um, I feel like if one gets better at this game they'd be able to you know run through it free quickly um, me on the other hand though <laughs> Considering it's my first time playing through it, I, I don't really, you know, I don't know what I'm doing here, guys. I'm just playing a game that feels like Ninja Gaiden, you know? Trying to have have a little fun here. Wow, I am all the way back here. It's crazy. But yeah, I feel like if you got good at this game, you'd be able to, like, really speedrun it, you know? that this guy's gonna come down okay a little bit of trial and error try to memorize this stuff I, I gotta use my shurikens I keep forgetting that I have those it's really my fault like so you only get so many though your SP up in the top left there that's everything so, you gotta, you gotta be careful, because you don't want to use everything up. Wow, that guy's just, like, tossing bombs at me. We're gonna try and get this thing. I think it looks like a Metroid character, doesn't it? Metroid uh, enemy. There we go. See, if I would've just taken my time last time, I would've been fine. I wouldn't have to worry about that. There we go. We're great. We got another SP, though, so that's pretty sweet. All right, this guy's gonna do another roll thing over here, right? Let's see, let's see around. Oh, okay. No, we still gotta watch out for us, though. Jesus. Don't get hit. I don't wanna go in that, die in that fire again. <laughs> Cause that will happen. Okay, we reached a save point. That's all I care about. <laughs> we reached it. Uh, we're gonna get the swag blade again, cause why not? I love this thing. Okay, SP is full. Oh, see breakable bricks there, but nothing to nothing to walk through. Oh, that was nice actually. Ooh. He was trying to knock me in there. Did you see that? Do not do not Knock me in the slime again. My god, that is annoying, that instant instant death slime. Ugh. 
bane of my existence. Take that guy out from a distance here. Okay. Okay, we got him. Okay, he's gonna keep dropping crap on me. Here's some more breakable bricks. Oh look, we got a shield. That's the first time I've seen that. That is pretty sweet, actually. So is this... Wow, it does. It just totally blocks it. I like it. The trains have stopped. No one else is getting out. Looks like it's the end for us all. Oh, you can actually shoot that. Oh, that is sweet. You can shoot that right through... Okay, I dig that. I may have a new favorite weapon. Alright, up go the platforms. Okay, wasn't expecting that, but fine. If that's how you want to play it. I'm gonna kinda just go for it here, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna avoid those dudes. Hope you're okay with that. Okay. Okay, we're doing all right here. save point though. A lot of these dudes knocked out over here. I guess I shouldn't be, feel too bad if I'm dying everywhere because these guys did too. Whoever's controlling the aerial weapon stalks his prey from the top of this building. Wherever he gazes, the weapon strikes. No one can dodge it. Man. Sinister. Okay, here's a save point. Uh, I think, yeah, we should be getting into boss fight here. Wow, this is epic, isn't it? Check this out. Oh, you jerk, he dodged my shrukins. Okay, I gotta think of a way to deal with this guy. Okay, I could hit him kind of there. Not really, no. I didn't hit him. He was just flashing for fun. Oh, crap. Okay, I could hit him kind of there. Okay. I really just need to get some kind of a system going here. I mean, I got his pattern down, sort of. So he's gonna drop, shoot. Oh, wow. I was not prepared for big shots. Who do you think you are, Mr. Big Shots? Okay, he did the big ones again. Alright, so at a certain point, he just starts doing the big... The big shots instead. So, bombs. So, now he'll drop. Okay, we got him down to something. Okay, new phase. Oh! Yeah, but I'm gonna die. I only got one, one thing of HP. Wow. I called that one, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm going to die here, and sure enough. All right, so this is where you can do... See, I'm not sure... So if I buy these things now... I think they'll be here if I die again, so hopefully that'll be the case, because I just used 100 or whatever. Let's avoid that. Okay, shoot your stuff. 
Okay, he didn't use a sword before, so that is strange. He's got a few attacks that he doesn't just outright use for whatever reason. I'm still trying to figure out the timing of this, though. Big shot. Ugh. It's one of those games where I really wish I had a double jump, you know what I mean? So there's times where I jump and I'm like, oh, I wish I had the double jump right here. Right, bombs. Drop. Oh, you can't not, you cannot escape the, the sword swing at all. Like if he's gonna swing his sword, you just gotta kinda get out of there, I think. All right, big stuff. Oh, okay, that time, okay. So when he's shooting the big shots, you just gotta run away. And avoid. I think this is another another one where we're gonna die here, guys. Okay, we'll activate the thing. But Okay, that was a waste. <laughs> Three shrukins. Waste. Okay, we got a couple of good hits there. Swing down. Oh, there's gonna be another face though. Keep hitting him. Is that it? Last boss, I think there was a, a, another phase that happened like right after that, which I was really not prepared for. <laughs> but it looks like we did. It looks like we got through. Doctor Progen steals our powers to augment his own. He seeks access to the secret safeguarded by our clan, the Ethos. Look for a shrine to help you remember. And we got another, let's see, feat completed. So we can attack in air now. So if you're up in the air and hit down, okay, that's pretty sweet. Uh, at this point though, where do we go? Ah, that's pretty cool. So where does this take us? I feel like, yeah, we, okay, the, yeah, this was the boss area. I was like, we, we've been here before. But that's like a little save point for you. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's Cyber Shadow. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. I, I, I really, really dig it. Uh, it's a great little game. For those of you who uh, are really into NES throwback style games, you know, like Shovel Knight or, you know, if you want to play, or, you know, if you want to play a Ninja Gaiden again, uh, Ninja Gaiden, Ninja Gaiden. If you want to play a Ninja Gaiden again, you know, an old school 2D one, not like a 3D scary one. Uh, <laughs> I definitely recommend checking this out because it's pretty cool. Uh, it's 20 bucks. Uh, like I said, it's on every single platform. And so far, I think it's well worth it. There's a lot of quality here. And as you can see, there's a lot of challenge too. For those of you looking for hard games again, hard 2D games, you, you found one right here. Uh, but guys, I just want to say thank you for watching. And of course, I'll see you all next time.